I'm Paul Hildebrandt, and I'm honored to share the Zone Tool with you. In the next six minutes, we'll take a quick trip to six dimensions, turn the resulting six coordinate axes into a virus, and then reimagine the virus as a possible key to existence of life on Earth. Let's start by getting grounded. Stand up, stretch your arms like a tree reaching for the sky, and feel gravity pulling you straight down toward the center of the Earth. Now imagine a line from the center of the Earth piercing straight up through your heart, through the top of your head, and out across the universe. This line can be called an axis mundi, a sacred Earth line that connects the underworld, the Earth, and the heavens. Why is it sacred? Because you are. Imagine you're a baby again. You crawl down a hallway and come to another hallway that intersects the first one at a right angle. At that point, you decide to stand upright for the very first time. Pretty exciting to discover something that took us 60 million years to figure out. You're standing at a right angle to the floor, and you can go north, south, east, or west. So you've also discovered three-dimensional Cartesian coordinates. The three dimensions are perpendicular to one another, and the point where they intersect right in the middle is called the origin, with coordinates 0, 0, 0. Just as you always expected, you are the center of the universe. You can collapse these three coordinate axes into a plane. It's what you're seeing on the screen right now. In fact, it's how you see everything. Vision starts with light reflected from 3D objects projected onto the spherical plane of your retina. Projecting three dimensions into a plane is really useful. In addition to seeing, it's good for photos, movies, x-rays, blueprints, drawings, paintings, and all other sorts of enhancements to vision. If three dimensions can be projected into two, can you see that four or even higher dimensions could be squashed into three dimensions? We can squash the zone tool's blue lines into red lines. They look like X, Y, and Z, but the angles aren't right. The three lines are no longer mutually perpendicular. Or are they? What if they were projected from another three-dimensional space at a hyper angle to our three-dimensional hyperplane? There's still room for another three lines to pass through the origin. It's like a whole other three-dimensional space perpendicular to our world, right here, right now, that we're not even aware of. Incredible as it sounds, it's true. Zone Tool's red lines are projected from a six-dimensional hypercubic lattice into our three-dimensional world. So let's take our six coordinate axes, connect the dots, and we get an icosahedron. That's Greek for 20 faces. The icosahedron is a minimum energy structure, meaning it's lightweight and very strong, like a buckyball or a geodesic dome. It's a great shape for the protein shell of a virus. Fill it with genetic material and cover it with spikes, and you get a simple approximation of a virus. This is one amazing little battle star. When it gets inside you, the spikes attach to a cell wall and inject genetic material into your protoplasm, shutting down the cell's normal functions and converting it into a tiny factory. The virus clones itself thousands of times. You can almost hear the plant foreman yelling, package and ship it, package and ship it. Oops, screwed another one up. Doesn't matter, just package and ship it. Mutations happen, the boss doesn't care. Eventually, your cell explodes, releasing the bad news to attack thousands of other cells. With no defense, a virus could kill you in a few days. Fortunately, there is a defense. You have an immune system. It's a complex network of cells that identifies, kills, and remembers foreign invaders to prevent future attacks. In fact, it's the only cure for a virus. If you get a flu shot, you're giving yourself a mild case of the flu so your immune system can recognize and destroy it whenever it attacks. But because of sloppy quality control, a new and better version of the flu will emerge next year. Life goes on. Now, how do I feel about viruses? I don't like getting sick. I also don't like the terror that swept the planet because of COVID-19. But I do think a virus is totally cool. It seems as lifeless as cosmic dust. In fact, it could conceivably remain in the vacuum of outer space at absolute zero for millions of years. But as soon as it encounters the right conditions, it springs into action with almost robotic precision. Is it dead? Is it alive? Is it some kind of bridge between non-life and life? What was the universe up to for the 8 billion years before the Earth was born? How long would it take to invent something as simple, elegant, and gnarly as a virus? What if some cosmic event peppered the universe with these bad boys? Imagine a virgin planet covered with oceans of water. Among water's remarkable properties, it's a universal solvent, 
and there's growing evidence of a liquid crystal phase that causes it to store sunlight as electricity, perhaps making our first oceans the ideal primordial soup. Add a little viral stardust and voila, the whole show gets underway. Five billion years later, the planet is populated by beings so brilliant, so gifted, so godlike, they can understand and mitigate viral attacks on their own population. In fact, they could literally create heaven on earth. That would be us. Let's make it so. Thank you. I've had the great honor of working with Steve Baer, Clark Rickard, and Mark Pelletier. Baer discovered the 31 zone system, which is the mathematical foundation of the zone tool. Rickert suggested adding the green lines, expanding Bear's discovery to 61 dimensions. Pelletier understood the system even better than Bear himself and dedicated his life to explaining it to the world. Without these three men, the zone tool would have been impossible.